Grab some cooking twine and place it along the edge of the platform. Wrap it around four times and keep it close to the edge. Redo this if you need to. We don't want it too loose. Use scotch tape to hold it down. You remove the tape as you go. Double thread your needle with crochet thread. I do about one and a half arm's length and tie a single knot at the end. It doesn't need to be exact and it's easy to add more thread later. Start on the underside of the shoe where the pleats are and insert the needle right below the twine. Push the needle through the satin and material and up through the platform. The first stitch is special, so before you pull the thread all the way up through the top, grab the end of the thread where the knot is and pull the needle through the loop. Go ahead and trim the thread where the knot is. Continue darning by making the same stitch. For reference, my stitches are roughly a quarter inch apart. I just eyeball it. To make your stitches neat, try and stay close to the edge of the cooking twine and be consistent with where you insert the needle and keep it aligned when you come up the other side. When you get to the end, cut the thread at the top and tie the two ends together and double knot. If you run out of thread midway, you should still tie it off just like this and just start again with a new piece of thread. And for the ultimate test, try standing your shoes up on their own. 